A man is behind bars for fatally shooting the mother of his children and her father. At around 6pm on Saturday the 16th of December, authorities responded to a home at 228 Algonquin Street in Battle Creek, Michigan, after getting a call about someone trying to break into a home. 911 dispatchers said they believed they heard gunshots while on the phone with the caller. When officers arrived at the residence, they found signs of property damage, but the intruder had fled the scene. Inside the house, they found 22-year-old Veronica Sicker deceased with a gunshot wound. Her father, 44-year-old Stephen Sicker, was also inside and had also been shot. He was rushed to Bronson Methodist Hospital in Kalamazoo in a critical condition, where he died the next day. Police confirmed there were several children inside the home at the time of the shooting. None of them were injured. Detectives identified Todd Bolton as a suspect. Todd was named in a vandalism complaint where he smashed the rear window of a vehicle with a propane tank at the residence, and a fight broke out just two hours prior to the shooting. Todd left the scene but later returned and confronted Stephen and Veronica with a gun outside. Stephen and Veronica then rushed inside the home and locked the door, but Todd forced his way in and fatally shot the pair before once again fleeing the scene. Todd turned himself in to police the next day. Todd's charged with two counts of open murder and use of a firearm in the commission of a felony. He's held at the Calhoun County Jail with bond denied. If convicted, Todd faces up to life in prison without the possibility of parole. Veronica's brother Austin Sicker said that Todd's the father of Veronica's children. Austin said that Todd was an angry man. Words can't explain it. It doesn't feel real, he said. I'm just hoping to wake up, but words can't explain how I feel. He'll rot in prison to the fullest extent, he said. 52-year-old Bruce Haddix is behind bars for shooting his daughter's boyfriend. At 1.36am on Saturday the 16th of December, authorities responded to the area of Bradley Drive and State Route 125, just south of Russellville, Ohio, and report that a man had been shot in the foot. When deputies arrived, they found the victim, 28-year-old Cody Henderson, who advised them that he had been involved in an altercation with Bruce, the father of his girlfriend. He said it all started over a disagreement over dirt bike parts. Authorities said the two men got into a physical fight before Bruce pulled out a handgun and chased Cody all the way to his vehicle outside of Bruce's home. Bruce then shot multiple rounds towards Cody and struck his car and the victim in the foot. However, Cody still managed to flee the scene on foot. Bruce went inside his home and Brown County tactical team members eventually convinced him to exit and he was taken into custody hours later at around 4.15am. Bruce is held at the Brown County Jail on a charge of felonious assault and his bail's been set at $75,000. Authorities said further charges are likely as the investigation into the matter continues. A sous chef has been arrested and charged with murder after fatally stabbing a female colleague at the National Zoo and Aquarium in Canberra, Australia. At around 12.50pm on Monday the 18th of December, Authorities responded to the zoo after witnesses heard loud screams coming from the commercial kitchen of the Jamala Wildlife Lodge. When officers arrived, they found a woman deceased with stab wounds in the storeroom at the back of the kitchen. The victim was identified as 29-year-old Shuang Choden. A knife used in the stabbing was found at the scene. The suspect, 29-year-old Jude Widji Singh, was found at the scene with self-inflicted stab wounds and was identified as a suspect. He was taken into custody and transported to the Canberra Hospital under police guard, where he was treated for his injuries. The next day, Jude was charged with one count of murder during a bedside hearing from the hospital, and he was refused bail. The motive of the killing is unclear, as the investigation into the matter continues. A woman is behind bars for shooting her husband during an argument. At around 3am on Monday the 18th of December, Authorities responded to a house at 105 Springfawn in Cibolo, Texas on reports of a domestic disturbance. When officers arrived, they found a man in front of the residence with a gunshot wound to his arm. He told officers that his wife, 37-year-old Sonia Hammond, shot him. The man was transported to a local hospital in a serious but stable condition. Sonia was arrested and charged with aggravated assault with a deadly weapon family violence. She's held at the Guadalupe County Jail on a $250,000 bond. If convicted, Sonia faces between 5 to 99 years behind bars.